guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my skincare tracker and how I use it. I, since I posted about it, I've had a couple of questions asking me about, you know, how I use the different parts of it. And so I thought I would take you through sort of the evolution of, you know, how I first set up the tracker and how I've since changed it and show you sort of how I actually use things on a day-to-day -day basis. So in order to do that, I have my current bullet journal, but I also have my last bullet journal since this is where I first set up the tracker. So let's take a look at the first iteration of my skincare tracker. Oop, and I've gone past it somewhere back here. There we go. So this was back from August. So I've mentioned this before, I found a YouTuber um, named Leah Yu and she has a lot of really good videos about just skincare and like skincare routine, taking care of your skin, all that kind of stuff. And it from everything I've seen, you know, not actually having a background in like skincare and all of that, it seems like what she says is well researched, it seems like she knows what she's talking about. So I've kind of chosen, um, rather than picking a bunch of different people, I've kind of chosen to take some of the things that she said in her videos and then apply it to my own skincare routine and then see what sticks and you know what I want to change and all that kind of stuff. So this first skincare tracker was actually based on a couple of her videos. So for example, she had a video about like the basics of your skincare and she had these top five tips so do no harm listen to your skin one active ingredient at a time one new product at a time no like squeaky clean feeling or over drying when you do your cleanser and she also had this sort of basic morning and evening routine so you cleanse you choose some sort of an active you moisturize you put on SPF or you remove your makeup you do an oil cleanse and a water cleanse, you might do a, an active ingredient, you moisturize, and then maybe you have another active ingredient. So like depending on how you're gonna do this. So basically what I did in order to take all of that information that she had and turn it into something that I could actually use and keep track of, was to assign different, basically I assigned a letter to each of the ing active ingredients that I was going to use. So to give you an idea, this first, you know, this first iteration of my tracker, I had A for AHA, and I even marked in this light blue color what it actually was for. So for example, this is if you have dull and congested skin. B was for BHA, and it's to like help you with removing blackheads and for poor clarity. C was a clay mask if you have clogged skin. D was a sleeping mask if you need intense hydration. E, essential fatty acids, so extra TLC, and rose hip seed oil is a good example of that. F was for spot treatment, so if you have zits and stuff like that. G was for a retinoid, so for mature skin, so basically if you're over 30, which I am. <laughs> H is for vitamin C plus hyaluronic acid, so it's for collagen production. I was for B3 and zinc, also niacinamide, for sebum regulation, and J was for antioxidants for healthier skin. So this was based on something that she had. She listed all of these things, and I basically just assigned, I assigned a letter to it so that as I was going through, I could figure out like where they went in the different system. Now, one of the things that I have since changed from this one is that I actually had things on here that I don't have an active ingredient that does that thing, and so it was kind of useless for me to have the letter if I, I don't have a thing that does it. But at least for starting out, this just kind of gave me like a jumping off point. Then I have my tracker. So the first iteration of my tracker was basically color coded, so I had orange, yellow in the for the morning and blue for the evening, and then I left some space for notes, and this was only a partial month because I started in the middle of August. And essentially, I for anything that is just like, did you do the thing or did you not do the thing, I do a dot. Anything that is an active ingredient, so you'll notice more on the evening side of things or even kind of over in this section of the serum are active ingredients, and so I used the code from the different list of ingredients that I had. So for example, the I is for the niacinamide, D is for a sleeping mask, so that was how I kind of filled in things on there. Now I initially had set up my sections, so I have in the morning cleanse, tone, serum, moisturize, SPF, and makeup, and then in the evening was remove, so remove makeup, oil cleanse, water cleanse, tone serum, moisturize, and special, so like a special evening thing that I do. And so, you know, you can see here that cleanse, tone, moisturize, SPF, and makeup is just a dot. Now, for example, if I filled in and I said, okay, I didn't do makeup today, that means that I'm not going to have anything under this remove section. But if I did do makeup today, then oops, I was bad and I didn't actually remove my makeup that night, apparently. Uh, here's one where I had 
makeup, and then remove. So some of them kind of are linked, but a lot of the other things are just based on what you do. So you can see here that remove, oil cleanse, water cleanse, tone, moisturize are ones that typically are just a dot and then a serum, serum and special was a code for an active ingredient. So that was my first kind of iteration and I think, you know, for, for a start it actually worked fairly well, but as I mentioned, I realized that I had some ingredients on here that I wasn't actually using, I didn't have them, and this was not as clear as I wanted, to, wanted it to be, so in September, I kind of adapted it. So back in September, let's find the beginning of my month, here we go. Back in September, so this was the first month that I did the full month with the routine, so you can see it's a lot like more on the page because I, I actually did it for the full month. Otherwise, I basically kept a very similar setup on this left page except that I expanded the skincare routine. So I have a lot of the same things that I had in the initial one that I took from Leah Yu's um, recommendations basically, but I've added a couple of things in. So for example, this one I've now added in a serum on this side. This one I did a special because there are certain certain products you're meant to do before you tone and certain products you're meant to do like after you finish everything else. And so I realized with my, my first setup that I was able to keep track of those things but it didn't really show me the order in which I did them and I thought that that was kind of an important thing for me to, because I was kind of learning what order do I need to do these different things, I wanted to make sure I had that more clearly. So I expanded this. I basically kept the same things over here. I took off the the little section that I had before in blue for what they actually stood for because I have that elsewhere. And I also put in, so I have these little numbers that are in blue or in orange. And that corresponds to this. So let's take a look. So this is what I ended up doing for my next month. So I have numbers on the right side, and actually I meant to do them on the left and I just wrote everything and forgot about it. So basically cleanse corresponds to number one, tone to two, serum to three, moisturize to four, SPF to five, and so on. Um, I do have these two gray ones. These were things that if I did like a full body exfoliation and a full body moisturize, I've since kind of dropped that. And then the evening routine is also pretty similar with the same numbers on the other side. So the numbers themselves don't actually mean anything for a couple of the categories. It really only means something if it is a special, so what I consider a serum or a special section, where I have labeled when I would use it. So the, one of the reasons why I didn't mark like, oh, this is for like if you have clogged skin or like whatever they are. One of the reasons I didn't do that was because I used this code to remind myself if it was a product that I was going to use in the morning or in the evening. So anything that's orange, yellow is in the morning, anything that's blue is in the evening. And I also can tell what step in the process I need to do it. So for example, if we go back up here, you can see I have E under the tone, and that is, I actually changed the code on this one, so E is now BHA, and so that get, lets me know that instead of doing a traditional like toner, I can do my, I have like BHA face pads. So I would do that instead of that one. So that's why I know like, oh, okay, step four, if I decide I wanna do BHA that day, that's like the order in which I do it. Um, another one, for example, is, so this one, P, what is P? I actually don't even remember. So P is AHA and BHA peel. So I have I have a AHA, BHA peel from The Ordinary and you are meant to do it like after you've cleaned your face but kind of before you do everything else. And so that goes in number four and corresponds to number four up here. So this allowed me to see and to learn what order I needed to do the different products in because I was getting really confused because some of them, so for example, I have different products from The Ordinary and a lot of them, they're, they're really good about indicating like, okay, you need to do this before this and whatever, but they would say something like, needs to be used before other water-based serums, for example. But then I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, which ones are the water-based serums? So at, at around this time, I basically went through all the products I had and figured out, okay, this is a water-based serum, it needs to go before this, or this is an oil-based serum and it needs to go after this. And so that helped me figure out in what order I needed to use the different ingredients. So this was my second like full, or yeah, my second month doing the skincare tracker. 
and I think it really kind of I really kind of figured things out when I got to October. So let's take a look at October. So October, because this was now the third month that I had been working on this, I took off the key that I had for like the steps in my routine because I now know them and so they're just on my tracker. And that meant that I had room for a key but I also could do a monthly review. And I found that this was really helpful. I am not actually doing it for November but I thought it was really useful information for me to have so I'm glad I at least did it for one month to kind of see. But basically the, the setup now is the same. I have essentially the same key as I had the previous month. So now when I do them, I kind of am learning like which codes go in which order. I also now, because I've been doing it for long enough, I know which order to do the different products. And I have basically the same situation. So I have, you know, steps one through six with what it is. So cleanse, tone, serum, moisturize, SPF makeup, same thing as before, and then one through nine for the evening. And I have changed it rather than special. I did active one and active two for step six and seven, and then I still did leave special for four and nine. And you'll notice that I tend to have a lot of holes. I don't in the evening especially, I don't fill in everything because I try to limit the number of actives that I do, but there are certain things that go together, and so I need to have enough space, so on nights when I do that, I have room to write it all down, basically. I did leave this note section because I I actually basically used it for, so I've been using like a CC cream. I don't really wear foundation or anything like that, but I was using a CC cream for a while, and so I had switched and I was using this PP cream, so it's like Pore Perfect. It's by Arborean. I use a couple of their products because we get them here in France. And so on the days when I did that, I actually marked it because I was kind of curious how my pores looked. I noticed that they looked more clogged at the end of the at the end of the day when I was using a CC cream because it's, you know, a tinted thing like it just it there's more stuff to it, I guess. I don't know. So I kind of marked that down. I didn't necessarily do anything else with that, but just kind of as I was going through I, I marked that down. And then my monthly review, which this one, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this one. I did post this fairly recently. So basically, I took all of my anything that was on my key and I put it in the monthly review and basically counted on my tracker how many times I used different things. So for example, I am not very good about doing my AHA peel. It's one of those that's you need 10 minutes. Like I just don't always think about doing it. So my note was, you know, I did it zero times, tried to do it once a week. Buffet is a product that I have from The Ordinary and I did it 14 times and I kind of like the, it seems like it's helping my skin, so keep it up. So basically notes like that, so I have, you know, do the pore mask more, you know, keep using this thing, do this when I do the pore mask, try to do this more often, you know, this one is like, use, use this up. So I have like this one serum thing that I got that I have found that I haven't really been using it, so I want to use it and kind of use it up. So one of the things I've been doing with this is I have products that I may have I may have been using them, but are they things that I really would buy again? So, you know, I've been testing out different things and the goal is to say, okay, you know, these three things I really like, but these other three things I don't really need to get. You know, they were fine for when I used them, but I don't need to buy them again. So I have a couple of things on the list that I know, for example, like this particular serum, I won't buy again because I have other things that I think work really well that, you know, I don't need duplicates of that. And so I'm going to try over time to reduce the number of the number of products in my evening routine. My, my morning routine is actually pretty stable, so just thinking about the evening routine, I want to reduce the number of products that I have in there, and so that's one of the reasons why I decided to do a skincare tracker rather than just doing my skincare routine, basically, is to actually see what I'm using and how often I'm using it. So, going to the morning routine. You will notice that aside from skipping a couple of days periodically, my morning routine is really stable. I basically do the same things every morning. I use the same active ingredient every day, and like that's pretty much, that. that is what it is. So what I did for November, if you guys remember, I switched up. Here we go. So I wanted to have just one tracker because flipping back and forth between my regular tracker and my skincare tracker was getting kind of annoying and just seemed like more work. So I wanted to condense everything into one. So what I did for November is I condensed my morning routine down to just a dot. 
because it's so stable I don't really need to know which parts I've done for with it because I just it's have I done my morning routine for my skincare or have I not done it and then I've left my evening so this is one where I am still playing around with the different the different products I want to use in my evening routine and so this one I do still I do still feel is useful for me to have this tracker and to have this information. You will notice that I don't really have a space for a, an end of the month review, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that for right now, but I did. Ha I do have my key in here, and I do have essentially the same setup that I have had for the past few months for my evening tracker. So this is one that I'm still kind of playing with, but basically what I do, so in terms, that's sort of how I've evolved in my setup and how, um, how I decided what to put on the tracker, but how I actually use it, so because because my morning routine is now just a dot after you know I've you know done my shower done my morning routine when I'm going through and filling in my tracker I'll say okay have I done it yes or no okay so yes I have done it do my dot in the evening a lot of times what I'll do is I will start going through my 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 skincare routine so for example you know I'll take off my makeup and do my cleansing and then as I do my first like if I'm doing some si sort of like a serum or something like that I will put the serum on and let that kind of absorb a little bit and I'll come and I'll start filling out my tracker. And then once I'm ready to do the next step, I'll do that. So sometimes I'll say, okay, I know today I wanna to use this particular ingredient and I wanna use this like night cream. So I will pre-fill out my tracker. And sometimes I kind of am winging it and so I'll start going through and doing, you know, doing my skincare routine and then as I decide, then as I'm waiting for products to like soak in more, I'll come out and fill in my tracker. So I don't like, I don't bring my bullet journal into the bathroom with me as I'm as I'm doing my skincare routine, but it's just something that at some point in the process, either before or after, I just note down what I'm doing. And yeah, it's been working pretty well. I definitely noticed when I was on holiday that, and I didn't have all of my normal things, I definitely noticed a difference in my skin, so I'm trying to be really good about, mostly about my evening routine. My morning is, you know, pretty, pretty solid, but my evening routine, I'm still, not always good about doing um, every single day. I'm usually I'm usually pretty good about taking my makeup off, but I'm not always good about doing like the full thing every evening. So I'm kind of playing around with that, trying to make that more of a habit with the goal being that once I kind of figure out a core set of products that seem to work for me, I can stop tracking it in my bullet journal because it won't be necessary anymore. So this is really, I like to use trackers like this for, for various things, but I like to use trackers like this when I'm trying to make the habit and then once it's something that is established, I might condense it down. So for example, I might keep having, I might still have, you know, AM skincare routine and PM skincare routine, but just one dot for each of them once I have it kind of set. So it's been nice actually because the morning routine kind of figured itself out pretty quickly. So now I can condense that and I'm good to go and I can really just focus on the evening routine. But I'm looking forward to the time when I can figure out the evening routine more and get more consistent with it and condense it down to just one dot because then that's even less time for me to worry about trying to fill in a tracker and just like doing the actual skincare skincare routine. So I hope that wasn't like too all over the place as a video. You know, I've had a couple of people asking me how I use my skincare tracker. So I, without having more information, I wasn't exactly sure what, what I should focus on. So I kind of tried to go through the whole process. I hope that you guys found that interesting. I will definitely link the YouTuber that I have been following and getting inspiration from down in the comment or down in the description box. You guys can check her out. I really like, I really like the way that she does her videos and the setup that she does. And it's, I, I found her really helpful. I know there's a ton of other people out there but for me it was getting to be too overwhelming to like hop from people like different people and so I just you know found somebody that you know her style of video spoke to me and so I've just been sticking with her and it's been good because there are so many possible you know things out there you could do for your skin that I just needed a way to narrow it down and commit to something because I was just getting too distracted kind of <laughs> Anyway, so that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any specific questions about my skincare tracker, I mean, I am by no means a skincare guru, so like anything specific about skincare, definitely not the person to ask. But if you're curious about things related to how I'm tracking my skincare routine, I would be more than happy to answer your questions. So leave them down in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.